Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs, got that funk here. I was watching a video by my friend Don yesterday called uh, Murder Machines, which talked a little bit about robotics and, um, you know, his concerns that uh, artificial intelligence might one day achieve consciousness. And if it did, uh, wouldn't that potentially pose a threat to humankind? And I understand where you're coming from, Don. There's certainly been enough science fiction uh, written about and, you know, uh, movies made about this topic. And, you know, for example, I'm going to use some of them um, as examples first before I tell you why you don't have to worry so much. In the Terminator uh, movies, Skynet uh, achieves consciousness and perceives human beings as a threat to its own existence and decides to wipe human beings out to preserve itself. Same story pretty much uh, 30 odd years before that when the movie Colossus came out. I think that's the name of the movie. Colossus was definitely the name of the computer in the movie and the computer was given control of the missiles and then held the whole world hostage with the threat of nuclear strikes unless we did what the computer told it to do. Great movie. Um, and in the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey uh, HAL 9000 achieves consciousness, becomes paranoid, and murders the crew. So, you know, those are some examples of how um, in science fiction intelligence becomes conscious and then consciousness decides to kill as a self-preservation mechanism. The problem I have with the premise in those scenarios is that they make an enormous presumption that consciousness wishes to continue for its own sake. Now I dispute that. Human beings are conscious animals. And as animals we evolved from lower animals. And animals evolved things like emotion long before they evolved intelligence. Um, our emotional awareness in my opinion, comes largely from our ability to experience, our ability to experience pain and pleasure, fear and desire. Without the ability to experience pain, uh, emotional or physical, there's no need to fear anything because nothing will hurt. So without the ability to experience pain or pleasure, the development of emotions is unnecessary. It's redundant. It doesn't serve a purpose. So it can't really spontaneously take place because there's no mechanism, there's no organism through which it can take place. So the assumption would have to be that emotions were somehow programmed into an artificial intelligence. And I'm not so sure that you can program something like an emotion um, and uh, again, it, it, exp it depends on the capacity to experience. I mean, let me ask you this, Don. If you were made deaf and blind and had your arms and legs cut off and your spinal cord had been severed so you couldn't even feel your body, would you want to continue like that? No, probably not. You would probably be hoping, ne'er I say praying for, someone to euthanize your ass. So consciousness doesn't want to exist for its own sake. Consciousness, as we understand it in human life, wishes to continue to enable experience. It's experience that consciousness seeks to continue, not consciousness for its own sake. So I don't think, being that uh, machines will be bereft of the ability to experience pain, pleasure, etc., they won't be able to develop the capacity for a fear for their own mortality or any empathy, so they couldn't be jealous, they couldn't be compassionate, etc. You know, the, the idea that they can't be compassionate fills people with fear, but, you know, the flip side of that is they can't really fear their own mortality either. There's no reason for them to. You would have to program into the machine a fear for its own mortality. 
it's not going to develop one for on its own sake because it doesn't have any means through which to experience anything unpleasant like extinction um, but extinction is only unpleasant because it's a lack of experience you, you see where I'm coming from I hope I've made my point so I don't think we need to really worry about artificial intelligence gaining consciousness um, in this in 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 any comparable sense to what human consciousness is. Again, it would really depend on how you define consciousness. But I don't think we got a lot to worry about there. I seriously doubt that's going to make you sleep any easier at night, Zon, but there you go. There's my two cents worth. This has Got That Funk. Thanks for watching, and may all your ups and downs be ups.